As your San Luis Obispo community reporter, I've been following the county's plans to connect a portion of the Bob Jones Trail that would start from here at the Octagon Barn in San Luis Obispo and go to nearby Ontario Road. A couple months ago, a different proposal was rejected, and now there's a new proposal that's in the works. Helene Finger rides her bike along the Bob Jones Trail every day. It's a trail often used by many people in San Luis Obispo County. When my uh, husband worked out at Diablo Canyon and commuted on bike to work out there and would tell me the stories of near misses literally every day. As president of the Friends of the Bob Jones Trail, Finger wants to help with a new proposal. Safety is everything about this trail. Fulfilling a decades-long goal of connecting the trail from San Luis Obispo to Avila Beach. We've had fatalities along this corridor. It's a congested corridor for commuting. The new plans include using state property along Highway 101 for the trail's connection, eliminating the need for use of private property. What's different with this proposal is that we are proposing the construction class one bikeways the entire path and have the gap closure be a route where people can safely travel separated from vehicles. Before construction can begin, Public Works must get a funding plan in place. The project's estimated cost is between 35 to 40 million dollars. The Friends of the Bob Jones Trail pitching in to help raise two million of the remaining seven million needed for the project. This will carry a lot of weight with the CTC in seeing the broad ranging uh, support from a variety of community uh, members. This is the second proposal this year. The first was shot down in August, but Finger isn't giving up hope. It's heartbreaking that we aren't com completing this trail and getting a safe route for people to get either to work or to school, um, which is what continues to motivate me. Their goal is to have a funding plan ready to present to the California Transportation Commission by the end of January 2025. And I'll have more information on that and how you can get involved on this story at KSBY.com. In San Luis Obispo, Mackenzie Diaz, KSBY News.